Remember always how Strickland's family motto, CES is coming. CES, also known as the Consumer Electronics Show, is an enormous conference that gathers together manufacturers, retailers, industry analysts, and press to show off gadgets coming to stores in the near future and technologies being developed by some of the world's biggest companies. In 2015, it covered 2.2 million square feet in various convention halls and hotels in Las Vegas, Nevada. More than 170,000 people attended and more than 3,600 600 companies had exhibits showing off their products. It's huge, but it didn't start out that way. Before CES, there was the Chicago Music Show, which had become a place to see new technology. It made sense to spin off the tech stuff to a new conference dedicated for that purpose. The first CES was held in New York City in 1967. There were only 14 exhibitors and only 100,000 square feet of exhibit space. But it was a success and the show grew year over year. It got so big that for almost two decades, there were two CES shows per year, one in the winter and one in summer. Las Vegas hosted the winter event and Chicago the summer. Eventually, the summer show outlived its usefulness and now only the winter event remains. Lots of famous devices made their debut at CES. The VCR, the CD player, the DVD, DVD, the Xbox, and Blu-ray have all gotten the red carpet treatment over the years. It's also where we saw HD DVD fade into the void. Rest in peace, HD DVD. Overseeing CES is the Consumer Technology Association, formerly the Consumer Electronics Association, formerly the Consumer Electronics Manufacturers Association, formerly the Electronics Industries Association, formerly Radio Manufacturers Association. But what's in a name? Actually, those names give you a quick look at how electronics have evolved since 1924, when the Radio Manufacturers Association first organized. The reason for the most recent change is that the word electronics is too narrow. It's all about technology now. At CES, you'll still find traditional electronics, like radios and televisions, but other exhibitors include car manufacturers, like Ford and Toyota, which goes a bit beyond electronics. And then there are companies that develop wireless transmission technologies, like Zigbee, or the additive manufacturing 3D printer companies. The world has grown too large for a word as small as electronics. What will the 2016 show hold? Well, we're going to find out for ourselves. Make sure to check back at now.howstuffworks.com to see our coverage of CES. And don't forget, we cover everything else at Now too. So whether you're into robots or ridiculous history, you need to visit now.howstuffworks.com.